<clears throat> okay, this is a this is a division line. This is our main turn row on the farm here, going down all the way to the poles in the far distance, which is 800 and nearly almost 880 yards. Now I haven't been down this turn row in forever. I know that coyotes travel this because I know they travel the edges and stuff and and I know that there's coyotes been traveling up and down this. There's I think there's a water leak down there on, on my pivot. So I anticipate there's gonna be tracks there where, where they've been feeding or where they've been watering. But <clears throat> we're gonna go down there and see and I'm gonna try to make a video here. Uh, I've got a coyote coming up to the come up on the porch last night trying to get the cat the outdoor cat and the tom was gone he was up the tree i think with the female cat she was hanging around but we're going to try to catch this coat now i'm going to catch him on this turn row this here we are uh, august 22nd hotter than hell in the shade here in texas and we're gonna we're gonna try to catch this coyote. We're gonna we're not gonna try. We're gonna catch a coyote, but it's maybe an uphill. It's always an uphill battle catching coyote during the summer. They got so much to eat. They got grasshoppers to eat. They got everything in the world to eat. So it's gonna be a difficult job. I got a couple baits that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the Texas peg leg from Dale Billingsley. And I think he's fixing to send me some uh, Texas Canyon brakes, and that that's probably what I'm going to end up using. I, the Texas Canyon, either bait's great for, for what I want to do, but the Texas Canyon brakes has got a, a special deal in it that would make the summer coats a little bit easier to catch, I believe. So we're going we're gonna to see what happens on this and go from there. The ground is packed hard here, and I can't see any tracks here. The truck is sitting in the turn row. There's the house in the distance. It's hard. We've had a lot of rain here, and it's hard packed. I know there's there's not any there's not showing any tracks. This gets into the gr heavy green here, but I know damn well I can catch a coyote on this turn row. I can probably catch eight or ten. But we're going to have to play the game. Now, I'm facing straight south. We got a southwesterly prevailing wind, which we generally do most of the year, which is going to be this way, which is southwest. Now, when I make my set right in here, and I'll make one up, up the by the cotton there just a little ways, when I make this set, my trap is going to be set <coughs> in regards to that prevailing wind, so that lure that scent crosses his line of sight or his uh crosses his uh his 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 uh scent it, 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 he'll he'll smell that scent is what i'm trying to say now if you set it any other way if you set it over here and he and he you've got the trap straight in and I'm going to kick that trap off to the right three, four inches. That's the way I set my traps. I set my trap to the 45 degree angle because I've caught, that's the most, that's the way I've caught my best, my biggest numbers on my coats. But if you set that trap right straight in front of that post set, post set, I'll miss him because he'll work that set from the southwest prevailing wind. He'll be right straight downwind when he works that scent. So that's what we're going 